I am making this one now. <laughs> That's it up a while away. Excuse me. I'm about to banticate myself. I'm being a proper girl. I'm a real girl today. But I'm sad because I'm eating chocolate. <laughs> We get more stereotypes. Um, I am now. I'm literally. I put a post on Facebook. And it was half an hour ago. I thought it was five minutes ago because it's been sitting staring at the fucking. out the window. The sun's just going down now, but the sun was making me really fucking sad. And I thought, well, sometimes just talking to these helps. It's just kind of me just fucking talking about myself all the time. But, oh, God, it's like schemas. I really don't have to describe them because I don't, I've never really heard anyone else talk about them. Until I met Bleepity, the, the Bleepster. Well, I'd heard of schema therapy because the bloopster said it'll probably be schema therapy. And then I had to see another psychologist first for assessment to see if it was I was a suitable, you know, if I needed it, basically. Um, but it's basically feelings that kind of mean thoughts. You just look at something and you just go, and it means something. It means I'm fucking not wanted. Just means I'm not wanted around. Just fucking shut up. Go the fuck away. You're annoying. You're stupid. You're fucking whatever. You're irritating. All of those sorts of things. And they're just, it's a feeling. It's a feeling. And that's what I fucking fight with a lot of the time because my rational head knows it's not real. And it's, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible, and it's just, it's just been getting like that today. I just don't know. I just don't feel... You know, like, when people say you really are worth worthy and all of that, and it's like, in a lot of ways, I am because any human is. Do you know what I mean? But there, it's, not a, it's not a thought of I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough. I'm not good. I'm, inad I'm an inadequate. But, like, I'm not. I'm disgusting. That's what I am. That's what I feel that I am. I'm, di I'm people repelled by me. Ugh, fuck off. It's disgusting. Fuck off or I'll alert you. And that's how I feel that people think. I don't think people think it. So speaking to my rational head, my rational head's going, oh, fucking no. But then just this in and of itself makes me feel not good enough. Because who fucking wants someone who's fucked up like this? Not then. All right, mate. But I don't. I don't feel good enough for anything. Or for anyone, or to anyone. I just don't. I'm not, I'm not deciding it. I'm not thinking, here is a breakdown of everything that I think is good and everything that I think is bad and all of these things taken into consideration equals I'm disgusting and that's my only problem it's not in a way with other people talking about this all the scare going on and saying oh now you know what it's like to have mental health issues I know what they mean if people are saying that. I don't think now's the time. <laughs> if people are worried about a virus that might kill them, or worried about their job, or their money, or their mortgage, or their home, I don't think they're going to go to bed going, well, at least I know what it's like for mental health patients. <laughs> but, there's probably a lot of people who are very worried and their partners or friends or whatever are saying reassuring things to them. Come on, it won't get that bad. We've got this in place, we've got that in place. da di da di da di da Lots of rational reasons that that person will go, yep, 
I know. But the feeling's still there, isn't it? The worry, the, the fright is still there. Bingo, that is what it's fucking like in a lot of ways, in a lot of fucking ways. But it's the feeling that it's already happened. It already exists as a thing and it's just... And this is why I slowly went mad last year. Last year, the start of last year, February the 5th, I was full of hope. I was full of hope. It had been going on for two years and that was long enough when I should have it sorted by now and it was like, come on, I've got a fucking perfect opportunity. <laughs> I started discovering all this stuff and thinking, oh my God, it's been there forever. Now that makes sense. Now that makes sense. Now that makes sense. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even fucking stop this shit from happening. Because it was just the knowledge when I was seeing all these fucking diagrams and thinking, oh my God, that is it. It's been like this my whole life. It led to a lot of forgiving. It led to a lot of forgiving because I was like, mate, you couldn't fucking help it. You literally couldn't fucking help it. Everyone that says you thought your way into it or you gave it permission because you know, it's, nah. Nah, this is way deeper than that. This is way deeper than that. Literally fucking... <laughs> totally any human would be the same. Any fucking human. Because I know how deep it goes, that's why there's the sense of it feeling so fucked. That's why I've got to stick to my diagnosis and that's why I've got to stick to this I'm unwell. Because this shit will fucking happen anyway. If I try and live a normal life, I will just be high expressed emotion, whatever. There's no point getting married because I'll get divorced. There's no point having a relationship because she'll dump me. There's no point having friends because they'll fucking scream at me. This is how bad it's got. That's just a fact. That's just reality. That's just my normality. That's I cannot change. I've been trying all my whole life and it won't. So here I am. So I will stick to the fucking, I have to, I have to. I have to make allowances. I have to accept. I probably won't ever get fucking married because who the fuck wants a patient? Who the fuck wants a fucking patient? Oh, he'll look after me. I'm saying it's just reality. It's just fucking reality, mate. It's not a defeatist fucking attitude. It's not. That is an assumption. That is an assumption that people in society make and they think it's right because they've heard it before. So they think it's the only thing that ever fits. But it fucking isn't. It fucking isn't. Some shit you can't fucking change. You just fucking can't. For me to change, means I need to, to delete myself. That's how deep it is. And that's why I was about to take my clothes off and go walking in the fields. <laughs> that's why. Because the deepest things that are knowledge is of me and my consciousness is where this stuff is. That's why. <coughs> and it's very subconscious. I never have time to think through anything about whatever I just react to situations and my I go weird and I don't know what's happening and I just that just happens it just happens but that is what I've got to live with and that is why I spend so much time alone and I fucking hate it I fucking hate it I fucking hate it I don't want to be this alone but I fucking am and I fucking will be and don't you dare write me off and say that's my bad attitude. It fucking isn't, mate. It fucking isn't. It's weird. It's weird. How there's such a divide. Everyone that I say this shit to in the mental health services goes, I know, I know. And everyone else says this and I know it's terrible. And they all know that society gets it badly wrong. But society fucking will not ever, ever fucking stop and take a look at itself because it keeps on with its automatic responses and automatic assumptions of what it thinks people are saying and what it thinks people mean and what it thinks people are able to do. It literally is, you wouldn't tell a blind person to squint a bit, would you? Just stare at it. And I've said it enough times, that is what it is. And I get days like this and I just feel fucking useless and fucking shit and 
fucking worthless. And just fucking switch me off and let someone else breathe the fucking oxygen that I need. And I said these were going to be real and raw, and this one really fucking is. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, no, I don't. It's, I can't change it. It's not a thought. It's not a fucking constructed mental process that I have decided about myself. It's just automatic responses to things, to positive things, to good things. The things in me mean automatic things. Me needing to fucking express something means I'm automatically a pain in the ass. There's just so many things, so many things. Being loved by people freaks me out. That sort of shit. It's nasty, mate. It's fucking nasty. So I get in moods like this. I need to express something because otherwise I'd just be staring at the fucking wall. So maybe there'll be more to come. Because maybe this is all I've fucking got at the moment. Because I can't see people at all. And people are busy making the most of it. And so many other people have got at least one pe person around them. I know there's others like me, but. I don't know how they're coping, not fucking easily, this is not nice. This is not nice. But it is what it is. And I'll put the telly on and eat another bounty. <laughs> and upload this and do whatever feels like the next right thing. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs>